Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around, what is it, the 25th? Right around the 25th, you know, the timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. We're just going to see what comes up. So what do we have for a reading today? What do we have for a reading today? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. Seven of Pentacles. The Unknown card. Futures in your own hands. Choice is yours. Two of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Pentacles reversed. So this is about investment. Thinking. Is it worth it? Is this worth it? Well, the choice is yours. The decision is yours. The future is in your own hands. Uh, what does your intuition say? What do you what do you what do you want to do? What does your gut tell you that you need to do? I feel like there's a little a bit of inner chaos, you know, a, a upheaval on the inside. Inside, you're feeling a little bit uh, scattered, perhaps. Um, things have been a little bit crazy, right? And so we have the Knight of Pentacles here around the corner. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that is unhealthy. This could be a dropout, uh, somebody that is greedy, that is not qualified, that is inflexible, irresponsible, unfaithful, jealous, uh, moves very slow, boring. So if this is boring, um, nothing of value, no planning, not a planner, doesn't plan on it, have, doing any following through, no goals. Somebody could be dealing with an individual that doesn't, that is very boring. This guy or individual doesn't have any uh, ambition perhaps this could be an unhealthy slob something like that that is really isn't qualified for a job um, now this is a loss the two of Pentacles reverse that, that is uh, no contingency plan right um, lacking balance we definitely have somebody here that is not very balanced they uh, don't follow through with their promises um, no ambition at all um, the unknown card is somebody you know that knows inside that something is up you probably feel inside that through your intuition or through your deeper understanding you probably know that you know whoever this person is that you're dealing with or whatever this situation is you probably know it isn't going anywhere there's a lot of discontent. And this is thinking, well, should I even invest in this? Should I invest in this situation that isn't going anywhere? You know, there's, you know, deep down, it's like, you know, but do you really know? You know, it's that kind of situation. I'm here to tell you that uh, it looks like whatever this situation is, it really isn't going anywhere. Okay, it looks like you could be biting off more than you can chew to even go down this path with whoever this person is. Okay, um, there's a lack of organization here and um, desire to follow through. There's like no long term plan. Um, temperance, Three of Cups, Death, King of Swords reversed queen of swords reversed okay we have a couple we have a couple here two people partners whatever they are we have a or a couple you know that really aren't seeing eye to eye okay they they may be a lot alike but they're both very much set in their ways but we're going to get back to this in a minute let's get the last card um Seven of Swords. There's deception here. There is absolutely some sort of deception here. There's some sort of lies, cheating, betrayal. Uh, somebody's been getting away with it. There's abuse. There's there's verbal abuse, mental abuse. There could even be physical abuse. There's uh, a lot of bitching going on, a lot of complaining. There could be a third party situation where somebody is cheating, okay, with the Three of Cups and the Seven of Swords mirroring each other. There absolutely could be some cheating going on. There's unfaithfulness. Somebody's not telling the truth. 
Um, there is uh, one individual that really needs to think, is it worth it? Is it worth involving yourself in a third party situation? Is it worth involving? And maybe somebody is pretending not to know. You know, I, but they do deep down. They know deep down that whoever they're dealing with is, is involved with another person. But they're doing it anyway. You know, that's kind of what I see here. And I feel like you need to accept and you, you need to accept the truth, okay? You need to accept the truth. You need to accept what you know and not deny it. Don't, don't uh, push down your feelings or what you know, your intuition, because you don't want to. That's called denial, denial, right? So anyway, I feel like we have something that is, is well, death is an ending, right? Death is a profound ending. It's a profound change. Something is about to end. Somebody is going to make a very tough decision to end something. I think there's going to be some sort of chaos for the Two of Pentacles reverse. Something happens, okay? Because the Two of Pentacles, when it's something you can't, it's like bizarre. It's like phew, something you can't catch it. You know what I mean? Something, something happens so fast that you can't. It's like the ball. So you're juggling, you know, you're juggling, right? You're juggling. You think about a juggler, they're juggling, and the ball falls, and you, you can't catch it, it, you know? And this is like, I feel like somebody's going to get caught. They're going to get caught doing something, okay? They're going to they're gonna get caught. Something is going to be revealed. Uh, there's been some sort of inner knowing that somebody was cheating that, 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 or that they were communicating with another person. Maybe it was on social media. The Three of Cups is socializing, so it's right in the middle. So this is about socializing, talking. Um, talking to several people, perhaps, several women, maybe. Um, and it doesn't have to be women. It could be men. It's socializing, all right? Partying, having fun, um, whatever. It feels like there is some sort of uh, definitely some sort of deception with the Seven of Swords. Um there's an abuse of power here and there's dishonesty. We have somebody here that's being dishonest, uh, lacking integrity. We have an individual that um, maybe a dictator of some sort. This person is a dictator, uh, likes to rule the roost, likes to be the boss. Um, there is some sort of... Uh, Needing to accept change with the temperance card. Accept and allow what the truth is. But this is in, de in denial. Again, we have somebody that is denying the truth in complete freaking denial. There's a need to allow and accept change. You see, these two cards are mirroring each other. The temperance and the death card. Now, usually temperance comes after death. There's going to be a profound change, or there has been an ending. Or there needs to be an ending. There needs to be a change, but somebody needs to be able to allow and accept that there needs to be a change. And they're thinking about, you know, should I keep investing in this? My advice is, is that you're not going, there's no resolution in sight here. There's definitely a betrayal. There's definitely some sort of deception. Somebody is communicating with a third party. Okay, they are. They are um, lying about it or, or hiding it very, very well. Um, there's unfaithfulness here, and I feel like, um, I mean, with the death card, that is, that is a transformation, a transition. And this is a falling apart. Something is going to fall apart. Let's get some more cards. Somebody has been unfaithful, okay? And there's going to be a financial loss as well. And there could be some fighting going on, some real nasty words going on because of financial loss here. Which could cause the ending, could cause the death of, you know, a relationship or whatever this is. Four of Wands and Three. 
three of wands. So get prepared for an ending. Get prepared for a death. Get prepared for a profound change, for a transformation, for a transition, for an ending that leads to a new beginning. Something comes to a complete halt. It comes to a complete stop. Something is going to be revealed. There was some sort of deception. I feel like... Uh, There's been, somebody may have went to a, a reunion or a party or a celebration and they came across somebody that they knew before. Maybe, maybe they went, you know, it was a party. Maybe it was over to a friend's house or something like that. Um, there's definitely some sort of reunion. Okay, reunion, reunion, party, celebration or whatever. I feel like where they may have been unfaithful. You know, they may have been unfaithful during that time and they just didn't care. They didn't think that they would get caught. They weren't really just going to the friend's house or something like that. But judgment reversed. Oh boy. Oh boy, somebody made a poor choice. Somebody made a, a bad judgment call. And this, the judgment reverses karma. Okay. Somebody made a poor decision. Okay. And now they are about to be judged by the universe. Okay. Uh, they made a very, 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 very bad choice. And uh, they are about to be judged. Um, and I do believe that there is going to be some sort of reunion as well. There could be a gathering that is coming up, an upcoming gathering. I feel like there's an ending that leads to a new beginning because somebody gets caught. Okay, they get caught, um, which causes another person to leave. Get prepared for, get prepared to, uh, for an arrival okay get prepared for an arrival um or a departure it could be a departure as well um somebody wasn't seeing that they were being deceived they weren't seeing but they're about to see they are about to see if they haven't seen already there's definitely going to be a profound change and you will need to accept you will need to accept that all of this happened for a reason. This is a card of purpose. It is a card of, of reason. This is a this isn't a couple uh, that is that don't get along with each other. It's abusive. It's it's an abusive situation between the both of them. There's it's almost like there's hatred. There's hatred there. But if these people were probably staying together for financial reasons or something like that. Um, somebody has made a poor judgment call. They probably. Uh, uh, did something very, 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 very deceptive. And I feel like they are definitely going to get caught. Um, this is my second daily vibe. The other one I'm not going to share. But that one was about, the first card out was the moon reversed. So that was uh, truths being revealed. So there is a truth that, it, and that the same with judgment reversed, okay? There's something that is about to be revealed. It's a lie. It's, it's something that is about to be revealed that is going to... Uh, change things drastically. Um, I also feel like there's going to be a reunion here. Okay? there's This is like reunion, reunion, reunion. So there's going to be a reunion. There's, and, and this would be if it was upright. I think there's going to be a reunion between two people that are meant to be together. Which is interesting. Now whether you've met this person in this lifetime or not, you may not have met this person yet. But I feel like you need to get prepared for an arrival, you know, endings lead to new beginnings, okay? There is somebody coming that you are going to align with. This is the Four of Wands. That is alignment. This is a perfect match, okay? But I feel like you know this person already. This is like a reconciliation of some sort. Um, somebody has evolved. They have evolved. This is moving on from that bad judgment call. Waking up. Somebody is about to, go, go, get, to uh, go through some sort of major awakening. 
something has happened. Maybe they've experienced some bad karma that has changed them. This is evolving. Maybe, you know. And maybe they're thinking about... healing a situation temperance is about healing and moving on from that bad choice maybe even asking for forgiveness anyhow with the three of cups and the four of wands there is definitely a chance for reunion after a death okay and this I'm not sure if it's an actual death but whatever it is there's a reunion a get together a gathering a party uh, reconciliation of some sort um, a separation with the death card get prepared for an ending that leads to a happy reunion I think this is uh, soulmates we have the king and queen of swords okay when you get two cards like that together they're soulmates. So we do have, definitely do have a soulmate connection here. But there's been a separation. And I think there's been a separation because there was a third party. Okay? There was a third party. It was a karmic situation. But now there's, there's, there's going to... Something is going to happen that is... Uh, you know, the grass wasn't greener on the other side or... You know, there was unfaithfulness or just a lack of desire, a lack of uh, attraction. So anyway, I think that you should get prepared for a new beginning that could lead to, you know, marriage, honestly. If you are in a relationship now and everything is going good, you know, this could be an engagement. Um, I do feel like this, there's a, a there's the ending of a third party situation. Um, something is about to arrive that is going to make you extremely happy. Good luck.